Hello, good evening. Bless you and you are welcome. God bless you. Please, before we go any further, kindly help me share this on your timeline, okay? Help me to invite friends, whoever you can still get online. I know it's late, but there are some people who are still awake and always on fire. Amen. And you know how we do it, okay? Keep the light going. Keep the love going. Comment, like, hallelujah. Thank you so much. Keep the love flowing. That's it. And the thumb up, let it flow. Help me invite somebody, tag somebody. Encourage somebody to come and watch, okay? Encourage somebody, invite somebody, and let them know. God bless you, Pinas. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Evelyn. Bless you, Sister Fatima. I'm just going to try and share some of this. God bless you, Sister Esther Mukete. Bless you. Release the love. Release the love. Share. God bless you, Apostle Nisi. Yes, thank you for being with me. God bless you. God bless you all. Oh, that's so nice. God bless you. me to invite somebody amen God bless you Jerusalem God bless you bless you all thank you for the love I bless you all in the name of the Lord Help me touch somebody. Please help me share this on your timeline. Amen. Glory to Jesus. My telephone, I always have to charge it. There we go. Is somebody tagging somebody? Is somebody inviting? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Um, I just want to bless all of you. And thank you all for being here. Amen. Um, I 
Good to always have all my friends online with me. Amen. Yes, thank you, Pinas, for sharing. Thank you so much, all of you who are sharing this video. I just thank you so much. Um, I want to take this time and opportunity to just thank all my friends who always watch me, follow my ministry, you bless my ministry. Some of you, um, you pray for me. Amen. You send me words of encouragement. I just thank you so much and I love you so much for your for your consistency. Amen. Um, some of you send me words of prophecy. I really, really appreciate it. And I thank you so very much. Um, yesterday, my team and I, my spiritual daughters, we did um, a live broadcast for singles. Um, we, we, you know, God has really placed upon my heart to do something for the singles because um, being a single woman myself for many years, um, I'm not just a single woman. I'm a single mother. I'm a single minister of the gospel. And that brings a different layer upon everything else. Amen. So I understand the challenges from all dimensions. If you are just a single mother who is not, uh, if you are just a single woman without children, I feel you because I've been there. If you are a single woman with children, I feel you because I'm there. If you are a single woman and a single mother, and you are a single woman, single mother, and a single minister of the gospel, I truly understand you because I'm in that place where you are. Amen. So I understand all of these things from the different dimensions. Um, I love my friends be sending the love and, you know, likes and whatever. So I feel connected with you. Amen. So yesterday we did um, a video for the singles and it was such a blessing. Always working with these, my daughters, they are anointed, great women of God. Amen. They are truly anointed and I just bless them. And while we were doing the single videos, I couldn't help but to um, think about, because you know when you are single, whether you are single in the world or single in the Lord, you know, it brings about its own challenges. Amen. This message for today is not for single people, but I'm going somewhere. It's going to bless all of us. Amen. And uh, I began to think, as we were doing the video yesterday, I began to think about certain things. And I have been thinking about it because of the death of one of my Cameroon sisters. You know, um, a lot of people ask me, are you a Caribbean? I love my Caribbean sisters. I work with them. You know, they are great. They are beautiful. But no, I am a proud African. I'm proud to be an African woman. Um, I'm proud to be a Cameroon woman. I am from Cameroon, you know, from the, the southwest of Cameroon. I mean, but I've been living in Europe for, you know, almost all my life, I will say. So I'm not a Cameroonian. So the, I'm not uh, a Caribbean, sorry. I am a Cameroonian, an African woman, 100% African. Amen. Uh, and I'm proud of that. I'm happy to be an African. I'm happy to be a Cameroonian. So um, this lady that I'm going to talk about and what her death has taught me. Um, number one, I'm very still in a kind of a shock. Um, it's very sad. It saddens me to know that this woman just died just like that. Amen. I'm going somewhere with this and I think all of us are going to be blessed. And my friends out there, if you are out there, you need to be doing something, activity, you know, share love, likes, uh, comments so that I know that you are hearing me and we are together. Amen. So, um, a few days ago, I got this message about the, the the death of this evangelist. They call her Evangelist Claire A. 
Adon. Amen. She's a Cameroon lady from, from Douala, the city of Douala. But she lived before she died. She lives in Ireland. Amen. And then somebody put up something on Facebook concerning her passing. And the story is this. I'm just going to try to recall the story and summarize it. Amen. Before I go into this, um, what I want to say today and what it has taught me, I want to let you to know that I totally respect and honor this woman of God who has died. I mean, her passing is a very sad thing for all of us ministers, especially being a woman. You know, we are almost the same age. She and myself. Amen. We are almost the same age. And then to hear that she just died the way she died is a very sad thing. Amen. Um, she is a Cameroonian. I'm a Cameroonian. We all, and the way of her salvation, how God just supernaturally, out of grace, saved her. And God was using her mightily in her own way. You know, so it really saddens me that she she died, her life ended in such a, 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 a she was just in her forties. Amen. She was just in her forties. She's 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 just like just beginning beginning her life. Amen. And then she passed. So the story about her passing is this. According to what I saw on the internet, based on the close uh, friend or relative or ministry colleague that put up something about Evangelist Claire Adon, they are saying that um, she met a, a strange man. You need to hear me clearly. She met a strange man last year, 2016, December. She met this guy 2016 December in Nigeria. Amen. I don't know if they met through the internet or through one of her conferences. Or I don't know how the connection came. But the point is, in December 2016, she decided to go to Nigeria to go and meet this guy. And the guy said to her that he is a ex arm robber he used to steal things he was a robber you know arm robber and he was stealing you know you know, you know you know what that is and but now he's been converted and he is an evangelist so i don't know the stories that um he really told her in december 2016 this woman according to the story just came back to ireland packed all her things and she moved to go and marry this man in nigeria how they did it i don't know god bless you georgie god bless you my brother and friend they got married in march this year and then by the 10th of may she died amen but before she died according to the story the man has made her to give um, all her possession because i even saw a video online on youtube where she herself this woman was telling her fans and her followers that she has moved all her ministry things and everything to nigeria she was having a, a very big vision of all the other things she was going to be doing in nigeria have her her, her um her video studio, radio um, ministry, her diff because she's a holiness preacher. She preaches holiness 100%. Amen. She's very strict and very, to many of us, including myself, she's, she was very extreme. I'm not condemning her, but I'm just saying that's how she was. Amen. She moved all her different ministries, equipment, and everything to Nigeria. And according to what they are saying, she handed the power of everything over to this man that she just met few months ago. God bless you, Godina. She handed the things to the man. Amen. But now she got married to this man, a strange man that she doesn't know. 
according to what they are saying the report that when she was going to marry this man she did not seek advice from friends actually she pushed her friends and family and everybody away so she was a kind of isolated she got herself i don't know if he convinced her but she got herself in a place of isolation according to her when people were asking her and um, have you prayed and sought the lord before marrying this man she said to the people that she prayed 40 days is somebody hearing me she said to the people she has prayed 40 days so now she's moving to nigeria to marry this strange man an ex arm robber who claimed to be an evangelist a woman living in europe a woman who has struggled from africa she was an ex prostitute and god saved her by grace and god brought her to europe god gave evangelist claire adon a very great ministry she was doing well she was being invited all over the world she was going everywhere influencing people with the gospel of jesus christ amen she was doing it the way she knew how to do it best but then came this strange man and within no time she abandoned her ministry in europe transported and transferred everything to nigeria in the power of this man and then married the man and within six weeks this young lady died amen she died something is not right something is 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 it bothers me a woman will preach on fire for god she preached with the fire of god listen the message of Claire is not something that um, I personally followed or we follow because for some reason I don't agree with all of her views. But the thing is, she didn't preach Satan's message. Amen. She preached a message for people to live holy and pure for God. Was she extreme to my opinion? Yes. Amen. She was very extreme. But her message was not a kind of message that would send anybody to hell. If anything, she preached the kind of message that would make anybody think about hell and think about living for God. So whatever she was preaching, if that's what God gave and Claire to be preaching, amen, the woman of God we are talking about, if that's what God gave her to be preaching, God bless her. But she was successful. She was, I mean, she was in the peak of her ministry, going to a different level. But then the desire to get married. Just like many women out there, many men out there, you want to get married. Some people are so desperate to be married that they will do anything just to get the name or the status. I am married. But we have to be very careful. And one of the things that when I heard about the death of this woman, amen, this great woman of God, it reminded me of Catherine Coleman. Catherine Coleman was also a great woman of God. But then because of this desire of love, of getting married, she also fell. Catherine Coleman came to a demise because of a man. That she also ran away with. Look, the Bible tells us that we need to be careful to think that we are standing lest we fall. Amen. Some of us who want to be all speaking in tongues and um, we are holy, holy, nobody can correct us. We think we know it all. We are on a road of danger. We should never be come to a place. In our ministry in our life in our growth or whatever that we think that we are above instructions or advice or counseling no matter how much you can pray no matter how much you can speak in tongues no matter how much of the Bible you know 
You should never come to a place where you think that nobody else can tell you anything. That you think that you know it all. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Her passing has really sound an alarm in my spirit. To see a woman so focused on God. I pray daily, oh God, keep me. God forbid I should dedicate my life. Or you should dedicate your life. Preaching the gospel of God. Serving our God. And then we lose our life untimely. Or lose our own soul. Because we fail. Oh God. It's so painful. It pains me when I think about this young woman's life. She had so much to give. Her dreams. In, in just two weeks after she got married to that strange man in, in Nigeria. She was in Nigeria. Talking about how she's going to take her ministry to the next level. With her husband. But not to know that she actually didn't marry a man. She married a trap that would finally lead to her own death. According to the story, the man that she was married to, this strange man in Nigeria, even refused her from going to the hospital. He seized her passport, took everything from her, and just left her to die like that. And then this is a woman who was a holiness preacher. She preached holiness, purity, and everything dedicated to God. But according to the story, she confessed before she died. The same day that she died, she confessed on a video that she was already fornicating with this strange man. It means when she met this man in December 2016, because of the love or the weakness or sometimes women or people can be vulnerable. I'm not condemning her. Because it can happen to the best of us. Amen. I am not condemning this poor woman who just died. But this is a woman who stood for righteousness. It's a woman who stood for holiness. That's why we need to be careful how we condemn people. Amen. Because you know the devil is not playing. He doesn't care about your anointing. He doesn't care about your title. As a matter of fact, the devil wants to destroy your anointing. Amen. So this woman who preached holiness, who preached righteousness, who, who preached purity. Yes, she was. Because of her meeting with this strange man that she decided to go and marry. Before she was married to the man, this holiness preacher was already living in sin. She was fornicating. Can you imagine what that must have done to her soul? The pain she was living with, the, 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 you know, the disgust with her own self. All because why? She wanted to be married. I know all of us may want to be married. But my sister and my brother, we need to be careful. Because I was saying yesterday in the church that the devil walks around speaking in tongues. The devil walks around with beautiful dresses. The devil walks around with the Bible. Do not become so desperate to get married or to get anything that you will so sell your soul to the devil. And don't become so mighty in your own eyes that you push away all authority. There is a need for covering. When we are telling people you need to be submitted somewhere, you need to have somebody covering you. You need to have a covenant partner. People think it's because we want to control. But it's so important for you to have a voice that speaks to you or that prays for you. Is somebody out there hearing me? Because the devil, he is so sneaky. The devil can trick anybody. The Bible says if it was possible, even the elect will be deceived. The devil can deceive. You can be a bishop or whoever. And if your eyes are not open, if God does not help you, the devil can trick you with sweet words, flattering words, and you will fail. This is a woman. This evangelist Claire Adon from Cameroon who just died. A woman dedicated to serving God. 
But now because of a strange man, in the hand of a strange lover, she did not even give it the time to get to know this man. She met this man December 2016. And by the, by the month of March, she was already married to this man. And then she died 10th of May, 2017. Now you tell me. And she says she prayed and fasted for 40 days. My problem is this. Where was her shield? How come she didn't hear from God? Where was discernment? And one of the mistakes, according to the story that I'm hearing, that this woman made, she did not allow even her father to be close to this matter. She did not allow her friends, other and pastor friends who were close to her. She pushed everybody away. That's what the devil does. When the devil wants to trick you, he isolates you. He makes you to fall out with your, with, with your source of protection. That's family, your spiritual coverings, and your, your brothers and sisters in Christ. Satan will cut you off of them because he wants to destroy you. But I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, that will not be our portion in Jesus Christ's name. It will not be our portion in Jesus Christ's name. May God himself keep us as the apple of his eyes. How can a woman who preach holiness, her whole ministry, she preach, even she preach one message. The message she preach, the title is 99% of women in church of Christian women are going to hell. That's how extreme she was. She was preaching, I mean, all her messages, everybody was going to hell. Because nothing was good enough. That's how extreme she was. Amen. If she would see me wear my Brazilian hair like this, she would have preached against it. So for a woman with this kind of level of extremity, you know, to preach this kind of extreme gospel, and she covered herself. This woman will wear hair ties. She will cover herself, her arm, everything, long gowns, you know, white gowns, everything covered. No lipstick, no makeup, because everything she believed, everything was of the devil. Amen? So she was very ex extreme. I'm not saying she shouldn't have been. If that's what God gave her, God bless her. But I'm just trying to paint the picture of this woman who died like this. So she will be the least person that any one of us will expect to fall in this kind of a trap. And I'm sorry to say this. If you look at the picture of the man she fell for the woman she the man who she connected herself to and then lost her life lost her ministry lost her legacy and everything the man physically doesn't even mount up to anything i'm sorry to say i looked at the man's picture it's not even a man that you don't even have to be saved to see that this is not a kind of man you should be um, 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 mingling with. You could see things. The eyes is the windows of the soul. You can see things in people's eyes. We, sh we should not judge by appearance. You need to understand what I'm saying. But there are times when you look at a particular person in the eye and the face as something, you will tell there is something wrong with this person. But with all of that, this woman, because now, according to the report they are giving, the man didn't have a house. The woman is the one who left Ireland and went to Nigeria and got a big mansion. The man forced her to get a big mansion for them. The man forced her to get a car. The man took all her ministry for her, from her. The man took her passport from her and everything. Amen. The man refused her from going to the hospital to get treatment. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? So, if you, the Bible said, by their fruit we we'll know them. A woman of the spirit. How will she fall for a devil like this? There is no other way to mention it. To me, this man is a devil. Is a person packaged by the devil to destroy this woman, to destroy her ministry, and to destroy her legacy. Which to me, it means Satan has been monitoring this woman. They have been planning her downfall, and they looked for an agent. And they package the agent 
and sent the agent to her and she fell for it. She fell for it. It's important, my brothers and sisters, to don't be isolated. Don't be so high-minded to think that because you are a pastor, nobody can correct you. Nobody can direct you. If you are dating somebody, if you are doing anything at least, tell at least one person. And allow some advice to come to you and receive it and rethink. Amen? You have to rethink and think about a lot of things. How can you leave a woman who came from Africa? God has blessed you, settled in Europe. You now you meet a, a strange man within one week, you went back to Nigeria. Before no time, you transfer all your ministry things to Nigeria. And you gave him the power over everything. You put his name on everything. And this woman has children. You think those children are going to benefit from the mother's um, things now? You think those children will have any access? So in essence, this woman struggled her whole life, built her ministry single-handedly, built her ministry by the grace of God, just to die like a chicken with a bad testimony behind it because her death is not a good testimony. It does not glorify God. It does not encourage anybody the way she died. Because if she will live her life the way she lived for God and die the way she died, you know, it's not very encouraging. What about her followers? There were so many people following this woman. I mean, she was a, a, a force to reckon with. She was leading a move. The holiness move. Women must be holy. They must live for God. Maybe men and people were following her. So to see her fall like this, if the, if the devil wants to scatter the sheep, he will strike the shepherd. Amen? He will strike the shepherd. So now all those people who were following this evangelist, Claire and Don from Cameroon, what are they going to be doing now? It weakens the body. And I don't know how she discipled them who can take over her. Because before she died, she gave everything over to this strange man that she just met in Africa, in Nigeria. It doesn't matter whether you marry a Nigerian, a Cameroonian, or a Kenyan, a European, it doesn't matter. But the, the steps you take into marriage, into whatever, it could have been just a business. We as people of God need to be patient and wait upon the Lord and track things out. And don't become a long ranger. A long ranger means you run on your own, you are running solo. No spiritual covering, no covenant friends. Let me tell you a secret about me. There is nothing I do, I have covenant friends. I do not feel so mighty that I don't allow nobody to come close. I have close people. They may not be many, but I have them. If I should have, um, you all of you know I'm always open with this, I'm a single Minister, amen. If I should have a date and just going to meet the person just to drink a cup of coffee or what, before I leave my house, I will hint at least one or two people that I am going out to so 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 place and I'm going out with so 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 person, amen. Because you need to protect yourself. And I always ask people around me to pray for me. My close people, there are some people that. No matter what I do, I will always contact them. I am busy with this. There's a new development in my life. Can you cover me in prayer? Can you pray with me? I do not ever allow myself to be isolated. Is somebody out there with me? Let the love flow. If you are getting what I'm saying, amen. Let the love flow. Comment, put like, and please help me share this broadcast. Because we need to sound the alarm to help somebody. Amen. We need to sound the alarm to make people to be to be to be to be to, to take the necessary pro, um, protection for themselves, because we don't have time to be dying here carelessly like fowls. After we have struggled, after we have labored, after we have sown, we don't want our lives to be cut short by the enemy because we fail to take the necessary precautions. Is somebody out there with me? So this one thing is teaching me. That it doesn't matter how big I think I have become, I must be humble. 
Because it takes humbleness to ask for help. It takes humbleness to listen to sound doctrine and sound advice. It takes humbleness. Is somebody hearing me? It takes humbleness to submit even to the advice of a friend. Sometimes you don't even need a pastor to talk to you. Your girlfriend will truly, good evening, um, Brother Elijah. Your, your girlfriend will truly, truly cares about you or a man friend will tell you the truth. And sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes we don't like it. Sometimes it feels like, oh, I want to do this, but my friend is saying this. But you have to take advice from friends and pray again. If you have waited for so many years already to get married or to get that ministry or to get that um, business deal, why don't you wait a little longer and just pray until God confirms it in your heart that that is the road he wants you to go? What is the rush? What is the rush for a woman to meet a man and she has to marry him within a month or within two weeks? What is the rush? If you, are, if you have already waited for so long, so why are you in a hurry now, in the middle of your breakthrough? Why must you hurry to miss it? Don't we know by now that the devil comes as the angel of light? He will not come with a haunt. He will not come with, with, with darkness to prove himself is the devil. But the devil will come with a mask. The devil will come with a mask and only prayer. The spirit of God can unmask the enemy behind that beautiful package that you see. Only the spirit of God can unmask it. And if you allow different people to come between and begin to watch with you yesterday at the video, with the video of the singles, I said to the women, sometimes when you are in love, you can become so blinded. When you think you are in love, it blurs your, 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 your view to see things the way that, that you, you ought to be seeing them. So you need a third eye. You need somebody with a different eye who is not feeling those in love emotions, you know. They can see differently. They can see clearly and differently from what you are seeing. And you have to trust the judgment of the people around you. Is somebody out there being blessed? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying tonight? You have to allow somebody and trust somebody enough to take their advice and what they are telling you and say, no, this is truly of God. Let me obey it. Amen. Yesterday I was sharing with the singles that the scripture that God really gave me. He says in, in, in the book of um, First Peter, First Peter 5 and verse 8, it says, be alert and of sober mind. We need to more than ever, my sisters and brothers, more than ever, please help me share this broadcast right now on your timeline. Amen. Help me invite somebody. The, Bi the Bible says, be alert and be of sober mind. First Peter 5, chapter 5, verse 8. Amen. It says, be alert. More than ever, we have to be alert. We have to be vigilant. You mean you have to be observant. You, you don't allow the enemy to trick you because it's very tricky. Amen. He said, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls or goes around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. Satan is looking for someone to destroy. Oh my God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, somebody... You really need to hear this. God bless you, Patrice. I'm happy you are being blessed by this. Satan is looking for somebody to devour. Satan is always going around. While we are here, he is looking. Looking for somebody to destroy. So the Bible is saying, in this time, we must be of sober mind. We must be vigilant because we know that the devil, our enemy, he is going around. Like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour, for someone to destroy. The Bible also says in the book of John 10, it says the devil only comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. You can never tell me, I am not God, but from the word of God, you cannot tell me that God sent this woman to this marriage only for her to be destroyed. No. Jesus said, I have come. That they may have life and life more abundantly. And the blessings of the Lord make it rich. And with it he has no sorrow. 
So how come there is no increase? The marriage this woman rushed within no time to go and marry this man in Nigeria did not bring any increase to her life, did not bring any increase to her ministry, did not bring any minute increase to her children, did not bring any increase to her legacy or to her family. As a matter of fact, her marrying this man, this strange man in Nigeria so quick, took away from her, took away from her ministry, took away from her legacy, and took away from her family. That is not God. God does not come to rob us. Amen? And the sad thing that I, I, I see in this whole story, because she believes that she is so close to God. She believes that with all her holiness, I, and the devil knows what you like. If you like chocolate, the devil will entice you and fool you with chocolate. Amen? But because she was a holiness preacher who likes everything holy, 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 I'm sure this man tricked her by making her to believe that he is also a holiness preacher. He came with all kind of holiness kind of talk, you know, righteousness. He portrayed, I am sure he portrayed himself 100% as what she would expect. That's why we need to be careful how we condemn everybody. How we isolate ourselves in our thoughts, in our minds, in our thinking, and our understanding of the Bible. Because even when you stick to one thing so much, and you are so extreme, Satan can use that same thing to trap you. And because you believe so much in your own self, and in your own strength, in your own grace and everything, you will easily fall. The Bible says, be careful to think that you stand, lest you fall. Because she was so close to God, according to her, I don't know her personally, don't live with her. I did not really follow her ministry, but I knew of her ministry. Because a couple of videos of hers were sent to me in the past. I looked at it, I said, God bless her. If that's what she's preaching, that everybody is going to hell, uh, uh, God bless her. Amen? God bless her. So, I don't have problem with what she's teaching. I have my... Um, personal convictions i have my opinions you know my views on what she was preaching and how she packaged it but i'm not condemning her because i i did not call her i i cannot tell her how to preach or what to preach amen that's not the case but sometimes when you feel you are so everything that's when the enemy can really trap you when you feel you are a prayer warrior so because you can pray nothing can catch you that's what the devil is going to use he will package a false prayer warrior who is a devil coming to speak in tongues with you and you will say oh i finally find a uh, i finally found a prayerful man a prayerful woman not knowing that that praying at that moment is just a disguise to entice you to pull you into their into their grave with them and then when you marry them you will find out they cannot even pray they don't even fast but in the time that they are trying to date you they are trying to court you they are trying to get you they will be praying and fasting and you will think wow i found a fasting and praying woman i found a prayer and fasting man and you fall for that because that is what you esteem that is what you hold as most precious, as, as the greatest. And you fall for that. And then you find out you have been tricked. But what do you do when you find out you have been tricked? It must have been hell for this woman. The short six weeks or few months because she met the man in Nigeria in December. And by March she was married to the man. But before March... When she, uh, before she got married to the man in March, she was already, according to their report, she was already fornicating with the man. So when you are already fornicating with a man, especially women, it becomes too difficult for you to leave the relationship. Because you have already compromised yourself. You have already given yourself to the man. And even if you want to leave, where are you going to go now again and start over? So you just, you just give in to it. Amen. Women are like that. And when you have had intercourse with a person, especially women, I don't know how men deal with those things, but especially women, but spiritually I can say it for both people, you form a soul tie. 
Amen. And that soul tie, number one, it, it binds you to that person and it, it, it makes it difficult for you to leave the person because you are now connected in the spirit. Amen. But the thought of you already compromising yourself with that person, you just said to yourself, you know what? I've already seen with them. Let me just stay. And once you've come to that place of a relationship with a person, especially for women, it blinds you. You can't see anymore because your emotion, your, you know, your soul is where all those feelings, emotion, and everything comes. Now your emotions and everything is tied to the man. Your desire is tied to the man. You can't leave. It may, you can leave, but it's not like very easy. You can just pack your bags today and say, oh, I'm going. Do you understand me? So that's where covering would have helped her. Because she threw away family. She Look, I'm telling you, my sisters and brothers. I am a woman of God. I do so many things. But family, I don't play with family. I do not play with my family. Not everybody in my family likes me or loves me or has a great re relationship with me. Some of them, just out of jealousy, they want nothing to do with me. We all have that in our family. But still, I value family. Amen? I have those in my family that are like pillar to me. I don't play with them. I spend time with family and I'm transparent to my family. And next to my natural biological family, is anybody out there being blessed? Is anybody out there being blessed? Can I see something, a sign that you guys are being blessed? I want to know if somebody is hearing me. Amen. Next to my, thank all of you for the love that blesses me. Amen. Next to my biological family, I have my church family. I do not play with my church family. Those loves and likes and thumb up, they really encourage me. So the more you do it, the more I feel like I have somebody with me. If not, I'm just looking at the screen. I don't know what is going on. Amen. I have my biological family I don't play with. Amen. And next to my biological family, I have my church family. With my church family, I don't share everything with everybody. Amen. But they are my base of security. They pray with me. I fellowship with them. And some things I release to them and some things I don't. But next to my church family, my ministry family, I have covenant partners who are also like family to me. There may not be many of them, but I have them. I truly value people. I truly value relationship. Amen. I keep my relationships. I build my relationships and I nurture them. If you are truly my friend, and I'm really in covenant with you and it flows well, I nurture it. Amen. If it doesn't flow well, I cut off from you because I don't need, I don't need distraction. But I nurture my relationships and I nurture family. It's very important. And next to my biological family, my church family or my ministry family and my covenant partners or friends, I have really girlfriends. I mean, girlfriend that I can call, hi girl, how are you today? Oh, I'm just sad today, you know. I talk woman's talk. I don't always speak in tongues. I have friends I just sit on the couch and we can talk for hours. We don't always have the time, but we make time. You need to have those kind of people. So if I should be dating somebody, my girlfriend is going to know. She's going to know if it's going good. She's going to know if it's not going good because I'm going to be talking to somebody. I'm going to be giving accountability to somebody. Amen? And it is crazy, especially women, that you will meet a man and you leave your secure zone and you travel to their country, shipping all of your things to their country and you leave your place that God has given you of protection. Before you run away with any strange man, women, at least you can go and check it out one time. You can go with somebody. Let's use wisdom to do things. Even if it's a man coming to a woman, there are women who run out and say a man has raped them. And the man did not even touch them. 
Satan can package somebody just to destroy your life or your ministry. So you need to protect yourself. You need to take the necessary precautions. Don't give any room for Satan to trick you. Amen? If you are going away with a strange man, a strange woman, hint at least one person. Because somebody can look very nice on Facebook, on wherever, on the street, and you talk to them, and you go and meet them in a close place where you are alone with them, and they do something that you didn't expect. I saw a woman who, who almost got herself killed. She was beaten half dead, amen, by a man she met on Instagram. She met this man on Instagram. They've been chatting and the man is nice. He looks handsome. They've, they've been sharing pictures back and forth, sharing love songs, love everything. But the first day, she decided to meet this man. The man gave her so much alcohol and beat her half dead. Renya says, that's the key. Some get caught up and wisdom goes out of the door. We need, that's true, Rina. We need to use wisdom. We need to be prayerful. But don't just pray. But put things in place to guide you. I mean, give the phone number of the person to a person you really, you must have in your life. That's why relationships are key. So many of you out there or people out there, you quarrel with everybody. You have problems with everybody. You cannot keep a relationship with a friend for more than six months. So you have no covenant friend or partner that you can say, we've been through the rain together, through the storm together. We can trust each other. It's character. Sometimes we lack friendships that we can trust because we ourselves lack character. People of with people without character always go from relationship to relationship, church to church, place to place, friendship to friendship. They never maintain what they have. Learn to maintain what you have and build something up. It takes time to build a good... I'm telling you, I have girlfriends. I have even male figure who are my very good friends, men of God. At least one or two I can say they are friends. When the going goes, goes tough, I call them. When I cannot pray for myself, I call them. When I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm trying to do, a, I have a new vision and I'm dealing with some things that I just need wisdom keys, I call them and we talk. Amen? When I'm going through things, maybe with church members, I have people that I can seek advice from. Amen? Next to, next to my spiritual covering. Because your spiritual covering is not always going to have that time that your friend can give to you. So do not have a spiritual covering and your focus is only on them and you have no other friend or confident relationship. Your spiritual covering is oftentimes having too many spiritual children to care for so the time they have with you and the advice time and the mentoring time can be limited. So it's good to have different kinds of people in your life. If you have a mother and father, go close to them. I mean, biological. You have your own birth sister or brother build a relationship but next to your sisters and brother you need a friend out of that amen so what have i learned like the bible says be alert number one thing that the death of this woman has taught me is i have to be very humble in this season i'm telling you i cannot think high and mighty of myself because if satan can trap this woman who is holiness preacher 100% extreme because even the way she dresses you will not expect any man to even want to to try her i'm telling you the truth you need to go on youtube and watch this woman's videos she is called evangelist claire a adon amen if you watch her videos you will never believe that a man will even think of trying or testing her but this man in Nigeria, I believe they have been monitoring her. And Satan packaged this man to entice this woman out of her place of safety. And they destroyed her. So if she can fall and be so blinded, this woman who every time when she's speaking on YouTube, she will say they are just coming away from 40 days of prayer and fasting. Some of us just pray three days. Seven days, 
four days. But she's always doing 40 days prayer and fasting. That's why my brother and my sisters, let us be vigilant. Let us be alert. Build a people of integrity around you with sound advice and wisdom around you. Don't be a long ranger. And don't think too high and mighty of yourself. The Bible says, be careful that you fall. That you are standing. Lest you fall. And we need to be humble. Be accessible. So men and women of God are not accessible. Nobody can reach them. Nobody can talk to them. Nobody can advise them. You cannot even give them a scripture. You cannot even encourage them. When you encourage them, they're already offensive. Don't you think I already know? I know the Bible. I read the Bible. I uh, Pride. Pride is killing a lot of people. And people want to do things their way and not God's way. This woman was a woman of laws and rules and principles and all kinds of things. If she was so much in that area, how come she failed to understand the simple basic things of you cannot run off without godly order. You push away authority. According to them, even her father tried to tell her not to or to reach out to her. She even got married. Her father was not there. None of her family members was, were there according to the stories. You are going to marry a man. A strange man in a strange country. You a woman of God. None of your friends are with you. Nobody is agreeing with you. Nobody accompanies you even on your wedding day. And you are doing it in a foreign land. All by yourself. And you've given all of your life. Your ministry, asset, assets, everything to a strange man that you just met a few weeks ago. How can that be God? She was far from discernment and sad to say. But Evangelist Claire Adon was far away from God in this decision. God was nowhere near her. And my prayer is that you, my friend, and my brother and sister online, that we will not make the mistake of Evangelist Claire, uh, Evangelist Claire Adon to run away with a strange man or a strange woman all in the name of getting married or all in the name of getting anything. We should never, ever shun away from sound advice or from the people who love us. We say God speaks. But God speaks through people also. God can speak to you through the Bible. God can speak to you directly. Through the whispering of the Holy Spirit. Impression in your heart. But often God will use people. Often God will use the people around you. To watch out for you. To warn you. To advise you. But are we willing to hear? God can use even a donkey to talk to you when you are about to go into that danger. Oh, may God help us to hear. May God help us not to go after our own lustful desires or think that we know so much that nobody can help us, that nobody can reach us. I pray for you, my friend, online. May you be reachable when it's time for you to, to be reachable. When it's necessary for you to be reachable. May God cause you to be humble. May God give us, including me. I am not excluding myself in this thing. If anything, I'm, this has story just woke me up. I am awakened. I am alert. May we not follow our own desires. So much so that we fall into the enemy's trap. And our life is destroyed. God is using us, some of us, a lot of us, to leave legacy. This woman who died, this woman of God, 
Maybe she is the Joseph of her family that God wanted to use to start a legacy of holiness and line of ministers. A mother of children. She has left her children. Lost her ministry. And from the story we just heard, the man that killed her is living in the mansion that she went and got in Nigeria. He has all her ministry things. He has all assets of her, of her empire and everything. And her children now have nothing. They've lost their mother. The family has lost a, an auntie, a daughter, a sister, a friend. And this strange man, so-called evangelist, has all her assets. Oh God, be merciful. May God be merciful. May God, I am alerting somebody. Somebody who came online because maybe you are on the same track. Maybe you are on your way to run away with a strange man. Maybe you are on your way to run away with a strange woman. And people are telling you, be careful. You've worked this hard. You've fought this hard. You've prayed this hard. That's, I say, according to what they are saying, the report. According to what the report is saying, they say the man killed her. Be very, very careful. Let's be careful and very watchful. Because the enemy is looking for someone to destroy. The enemy is looking for someone to kill. But that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Before you run away, before you run away with any strange man or with any strange woman, may you seek counsel, seek advice, seek the Lord, and may you listen to God. And don't be a long ranger. May you not end. May you not end. Like this poor lady's life ended. May your children. Not end motherless. Without anything. Like the children of this poor woman. You, Eddie, if you are not happy with what I'm preaching, you can move yourself from this and move forward. I'm here to warn people. Satan is going around looking for someone to destroy. And I'm here to warn the people of God, the children of God, to be careful. So if you don't like what I'm preaching, if this message is bothering you, I didn't invite you and you are not forced to watch me if this message is not from you for you you can move away so I can talk to the people that I'm called to talk to amen you can move away so I can talk to the people that I'm called to talk to so today my friends as you always know I love all of you so much and may we learn from the story and the sad demise of Evangelist Claire Adon. May her soul rest in peace. And my prayer, I don't know what is happening to her ministry right now. All I know is from the reports that I'm seeing online. My prayer is that her legacy will not die. I really pray that the legacy of this woman, I pray that she has... If her disciples will watch this video, I pray that they will. I pray that they will in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that her disciples will watch this video and continue. The legacy that she leave behind. 
Father, we just thank you for this day. Father, we bless you. And I pray for my online friends. Those who have called to watch this message. And to be blessed by it. And to be encouraged by it, Father God. I pray, O oh God, that you will keep all of them alert. I cover my friends with the blood of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We lift up the shield of faith. Resisting every fairy dart of the wicked one. We decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Father, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. That Father, you will keep us as the apple of your eye. You will protect us from strange men. And you will protect us from strange women, Father God. Protect us and keep us, O oh God. May your shield be around us, Father God. May you put your fire around us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, protect your children. Protect us from the enemy who is going around like a rolling lion looking for whom to devour. And Father, we send back any weapon of the enemy. We send it back to the sender. We send it, we turn that back to the wicked ones. And Father, we pray that this broadcast, oh God, will be a message of warning and alert, oh God, to many. That many who are called to watch this broadcast, they will have the time to think. They will have the time to pray and seek your face before making any move. Father, I just pray right now, any of my friends there online, who is already engaged in a relationship with a strange man or with a strange woman. Father, may you intervene in the name of the Lord Jesus that none of them will take the wrong turn, O oh God. None of God there will take the wrong turn, O oh Father. Father, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that none of, what, none of your children will fall in the hand of any evil man or any evil woman or the plans of the enemy. Father, we pray for your intervention in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we release the blood of Jesus over us, over our children, our ministries, everything that belongs to us. We release the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Father. Because only you can protect us. You are a shield unto us, Father God. You are a covering unto us, Father God. You are our refuge, O oh God. And you are our fortress, O oh God. So we call you Elohim, Father. To arise, O oh God, and defend your children. Defend our cause, Father. Defend our purpose, Father. We call you Jehovah Giver to arise, O oh God. And let your enemies be scattered. Let the enemies of God be scattered. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We bless you Father. We give you praise Father. We glorify you Father. We magnify you Father. We give you thanksgiving Father. Oh God we say you alone are God. We say you alone are worthy Father God. We call upon you the God of all gods. We call upon you the Lord of all lords. Father go before us in the name of Jesus Christ. And shatter the plans of enemy. The enemy oh God of our souls. Wherever the trap they have put for us. Father God cause us to escape. Cause our legs to escape. Let us escape. Rabando sakarababa. Roboko sarakabahande. Bori sitarato boko sherebo. We silence the enemy in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Rabbi, I pray for you, my friend. Any man or woman enticing you to the wrong place, may God come and intervene right now. 
May you receive the honor, the, the, the knowledge of God. I pray for discernment over all of us. May God give us discernment. May we be able to discern. May we be able to discern in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of the men of Issachar fall upon us. That we'll be able to know in the name of the Lord Jesus. Remove the blindness from us, O oh Father God. Enlighten the eyes of our understanding. We pray to you, O oh Jehovah. Come with your power. Intervene in the affairs of our life. Intervene in the affairs. I feel like a friend of mine out there. You are in a relationship that may lead your life to danger. And God is calling you this night to pray. To submit that relationship to God. To submit that man to God. To submit it everything. That woman, whoever it is, submit it to God. Bring it to God. Let God intervene. Let God intervene in that thing that you are pursuing. It could be a ministry alignment. It could be marriage. It could be business. But may you be humble enough to call upon God. May you be humble enough to invite somebody to speak and to give you advice. I come against every spirit of rebellion. Every rebellious spirit pushing you in a place that will be destroyed. May God intervene in your life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Roba Casanteria Capaya. Boleco Bosonta Racate. Borande Sicarababa. I am here to encourage you to pray and seek the Lord. And listen to sound advice. Oh, leba kasataya. Oh, kashare boso. Bora kasante de bosa. Oh, raba kasindria. Oh, God, protect your children. Protect our destiny and ministries. Protect our legacy, oh God. Cover us, Jehovah. Jehovah needs to cover us. Cover us, Jehovah. We need you, Lord, in this time, oh God, when the enemy is going around like a rolling lion, looking for whom to devour. May God of Israel defend and protect his people. Be a protective shield unto us, Lord. Be a protective shield. Is anyone that pray with me tonight? Where are my prayer warriors? Where are the prayer warriors? Oh, Bakasante Rebosa. We bless you, Lord. Boko Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Cover us. Yes, Apostle Nisi, we need God to cover us. We need God to cover us. Protect your children. Are my warriors praying out there? It's so, I need somebody to lift up prayer. Oh yes, Lord. Lift up prayer. Oh, Shele Lebosa. Maturia Kapaya. Mendoboko Sele Lebo. We shatter demonic plants. Boraka Santoba. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Father. And we pray, God, for the ministry of this young woman who just died. That, Father, whatever you want to do, let your will be done. Let your will be done. We thank you for her life. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Boshara Baba. Protect us, O oh Jesus. O oh, Rabba Kassante Rebosa. The blood of Jesus. We release the blood. Somebody release the blood of Jesus over us. God bless you, Sister Jody. Let the love flow. Put the thumb up. Help me share this on your timeline. 
to alert somebody, to warn somebody that danger is looking for somebody to destroy. Danger is looking for somebody to destroy. But we come against the plan of Satan. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rebecca Sire. Somebody release the blood of Jesus. We break demonic barriers. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, Kasatatata. May the Lord keep you. Oh, Shalalaba. The Bible says we should be alert. Be alert. Be sober of mind. Because your enemy, Satan, your enemy, is going around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. But we will not be that someone in the name of the Lord Jesus. We lift up the mighty arm of God against the enemy. We lift up the mighty hand of God against the enemy. We lift up the arm of God. We lift up the arm of Jehovah. May God himself arise and protect his children from untimely death, from strange men and from strange women. In the name of the Lord Jesus, no weapon that is fought against our ministry, no weapon fought against my ministry shall prosper. Let God secure us in him. Santa Rebaba Sataya. Oh, Shalalabasaya. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. I am telling my friends online, you need to alert your friends, your family, and tell them, in this season, be alert. Be alert. Because Satan has been cut loose. And he's going around. Like a rolling lion looking for someone to destroy. Help me share this thing on your timeline, please. Share it and tell your friends of the story you just heard this today this today. Hallelujah. You know how I always do it. I want to thank all of you for watching. And for sharing this time with me. Amen. I always like to leave my friends in the glory. I always share my, my the song of the week. My worship song of the week with my friends. You know Satan does not like us to speak out. A broadcast like this. There will be demons and demonic people. Who want to rise against it. They will want to come and begin to speak jargons. But we release the blood of Jesus Christ and we silence every demonic voice in the name of Jesus. We must alert the people of God. We must alert the children of God to know of the danger out there. There are people who want to rise up against this message. But I leave them in the hand of God. I leave them in the hand of the God who called me. I leave them in the hand of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, pray for yourself. You know, I like to leave you in the glory. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Elohim. Oh, Rabbi Kassaya. They will come against you in one way. But God himself will scatter them in seven ways. They will come against you in one way. But may God scatter them in seven ways. Tell 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. I am here to alert my friends. The people I'm called to. Yes, we send fire. Good soapiness, we send your fire, Lord. I'm here to alert you. Be vigilant in this season and any other season. Someone out there being blessed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, fire. Yes, fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. We release fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 May God expose any wolf walking in sheep clothing. May God expose the devils in our life. May the fire of God become too hot for them to hide. Send down your fire. Be careful of the men you meet on Facebook. Be careful of strange men. And let me tell you something. It doesn't matter who you meet. Everybody you meet for the first time will be a stranger. So if you are looking to meet somebody you've already known, you are not being realistic. But just be wise. How you give access of your life in a person's heart. Hello? Somebody out there needs to hear me. Everybody you meet for the first time is a stranger. Every man you meet for the first time is a stranger. Amen? But in pursuing the relationship with the person, let it be led by God step by step. Do not go ahead of relationships. Amen? That start from, you could even meet somebody on Facebook, on Twitter, or wherever. We also have good stories. But unfortunately, not all stories end well. But whatever the case is, use wisdom. Can somebody hashtag wisdom? Hashtag use wisdom. Hashtag use wisdom. Wisdom in giving access. Wisdom in committing yourself fully. Step by step and you make the commitment. Is, is it making sense to somebody? Don't just give all of your heart, your soul, your mind and everything to somebody or a business, a ministry or something you don't know yet. You, you, you have not feel fully heard from God. Amen? I just thank all of you so much. And I pray that has this blessed anybody? Have you people been blessed? Because your comments are slow coming. Your likes are slow coming. The love is slow coming. Amen. I want to see that you are blessed. Show some love. Show some like. Amen. Because the more you also press the love and like, we are going to send signals. The more likes and love we have, the more people are going to watch. Amen. So by doing all of those things, commenting and, you know, we are going to come on top of the chat on Facebook. Amen. So if my ministry is blessing you, it's just a small effort to help me do those things. Amen. To share the like, the love, press the buttons. It's just like you press it because it sends signals. It sends signals and more people will watch the video. Because we don't just want to talk only to the few of us. Amen. We want more people to get what God is speaking to the church. Amen. Facebook is becoming my new church. So... I'm really using it to reach as many people as possible. And you can help me with that by sharing the videos, by commenting, by liking it, and whatever I'm doing. Amen. If it, if it touches you, you are not forced to do it, of course. But if it's a blessing to you, 
that you can believe that is going to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. Like I always end all my videos and ask my friends, please type Evangelist Claire Revealed Ministries and you will find my ministry. And please like my ministry page, Evangelist Claire Revealed. Evangelist Claire Revealed. If you type Evangelist Claire Revealed, you will find my personal ministry page. I want to build the page because in the coming month, I want to use less of my timeline and use more of my page. Amen. And also, I'm gathering intercessors worldwide. So we are building a network of people worldwide. So I'd like you to join the gathering of intercessors page as well. Amen. Or group. So when you type the gathering of the intercessors, you will see the gathering of the intercessors movement page and the gathering of the intercessors group amen and you can send a request and i will receive you for the pages you can send you can just like it and help me also if you go to my page please you will press the button invite friends and help me invite your friends to like the page as well yes thank you very much i love you you have any question ask now because i'm done for today amen if you ask have any question please kindly ask it you have a question i would like to answer your questions amen if you have i will give you two minutes then i'm done amen this girl's passing this one of god's death has taught me so much to be just be awakened in my spirit and to be alert. Not to be afraid, but to be alert and to pray more. But not only pray, but to really seek out help from people around me. Amen. I made up my mind from now on, I'm going to be more open to people around me. I'm going to ask for help more. I'm going to be more transparent. I'm going to listen more because I'm telling you, we don't have time for this. Amen. So I've learned now just to ask for help. Amen. Hallelujah. So please be blessed um, and keep me in prayer while I'm praying for all of you. God bless you and keeps you and watches over you. May God cause his face to shine over you in the name of Jesus. Bye till we meet again.